So we are going to take you guys into our labor and delivery and everything that went with it with this dope <laughs> story time. And we just want to start off by saying we actually didn't take a video. We weren't even allowed to if we wanted to, but we're not going to include any like pictures or anything just because like that's still personal to us, but we still wanted to share our story with you guys. And we want you to use your imagination. <laughs> so if it sounds very gory and crazy, just it multiply. <laughs> times like 10. <laughs> we are gonna begin at the baby mama dance. Well, wait, hold on, a little bit before because I had been wanting to film the baby mama dance since like the beginning of my pregnancy. It was literally like the day before we did it and I was like, Matt, we have to do the baby mama dance tomorrow. I refuse to give birth until we do that dance. I was so tired, but I was like, you know what? Glory's worked so hard oh. through these nine months and this is the only thing she has. So you know what? Even though I'm looking rough with no haircut nothing i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna go all out oh i was like this is the one thing i want to do and he was like but if you feel any contractions we are stopping and i was like okay if you watch the baby mama dance you'll see right after it was done she went into labor well two hours after i was like i think i had a contraction we called your mom and everything yes so i called my mom and I'm like, hey mom, like I think Glory's having the contractions. We just go on time it. And my mom, she freaks out about everything <laughs> when she's say. excited. Well, I said, nah, it's true. So the moment I said, I think Glory had a contraction. You need to go to the doctors right now. Just drive to the hospital. She getting right had a baby. I'm like, mom, <laughs> the joints is like 20 minutes apart. Like, how you even know? Just drive there and then call them and let them know you're on your way. We didn't do that. We called the advice nurse and they were like, just wait it out, make sure, I forgot the timing. Yeah, I think it was like five minutes apart, one minute long, and then that has to go on for like two hours. At this point, it was like every 20 minutes. So I, I just knew, I was like, whatever, we're good, we're fine. So I'm in a group chat with my family and I'm like, yo, the contractions are getting closer. And by this time, it's 11 p.m. at night. We still home and all of this is happening on a Saturday night. And I was excited because Sunday was going to be a day I just relax. I watched the Baltimore Ravens play. It's going to be awesome and great. 11 p.m. rolls by and the contractions get closer. And I'm looking at Glory like, oh snap. We my heart started beating. I really giddy. Like, I was like, oh my God, get this stuff, get this stuff. I know, she's over here laughing. Going, I was Whoa. laughing. <laughs> and I'm getting scared like. You should see me. I, I need to make sure everything is ready. So I start loading up the car. I'm like, all right, I just want to make sure everything is inside the car because I'm thinking, oh snap, what if our water breaks on the way to the hospital? Like I, all of these thoughts is coming through my mind right now and I'm freaking out. Finally, we call the vice nurse again because at this point- For two hours straight, they were about five to six minutes apart and they were all ranging from like 40 seconds to a minute long. So that's when we finally <laughs> called the nurse. And they were like, bring that butt on Yeah, in here, they were girl. like, all right, head on over to the hospital. I was like, oh my, and so we texted our family. I was so excited though. I know she was so excited. What the nurse did tell us was like, hey, when you come in, we're gonna see how dilated you are. Or if it's nothing crazy, you may just send you home yeah. and make you do workouts and stuff. But I mean, <laughs> if it is crazy, then you're gonna stay at night. In our head, we didn't know if we were gonna go back home that night or we were staying. It's that moment when you're like, oh my girls, this is happening. Oh, oh, it's happening. <laughs> I just wanna let you guys know the contractions. They felt tight, but like someone was inside my stomach, like stretching, like. Stretching what? <laughs> What was that? Like, I don't know. It just felt kind of like really uncomfortable. So we get to the hospital. It's just us there. It was completely Literally nobody empty. was there. It was around one o'clock in the morning. They get us checked in. They're like, hey, we're going to bring Glory to the room. And Glory was like, oh, can my husband bring all the bags? And they're like, yeah, he can bring all the bags. Let me tell you what Glory did. I overpacked. You would have <laughs> thought we was moving to a different country, man. I didn't even touch the hospital bag once, literally. If I made a video on like what I actually use in my hospital bag, there'd be nothing. I literally used 
nothing. But she had about eight bags, yo. Literally. Imagine me with two Roleons. You got bags stacked on top. The, the Roleons? Yeah, really? the Roleon. That's what I'm calling the suitcases. Anyway, so we got into this room. It wasn't the official room because like he said, they didn't know if they were going to send us back home or not. And at this point, my contractions were getting worse. And it actually, I was attached to something where you can actually see when a contraction was going to happen. The one that we had, and it had a number. So you could see the number just oh, getting yeah. bigger At that time, bigger. the number, like it was around like 40. And Matt was sitting over there in the corner like the annoying person that he is, saying like, oh, you about to have a contraction. It was fun, like it was crazy. Like you see the little line, and then it would happen, and then I'll see Gloria go. <laughs> I could not talk, like it, it was starting to hurt. And I remember specifically asking the nurse. So I was like, so when I'm like actually about to have the baby and I'm having tractions, so like what number is it gonna get up to? She's like, oh, like right now it's at like 80-ish. Like it's gonna get like above 400. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and at that point, I didn't actually know if I wanted an epidural or not because I've never like been pregnant before or had a baby. So I just didn't know. And I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna get an epidural because if this hurts right now, at like an 80. I can't even imagine what like a 400 would feel like. So every time Gloria would have a contraction, I was like talking to her and then it was this one contraction where I asked her a question and she said, Maddie, do not <laughs> talk to me. Right now I cannot answer you. And at that point, I shut up. I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't know why you was trying to talk to me while I was having contractions. You, because you made it seem like, yo, I got this. Like, it's cool. I was trying so hard to toughen it out. I was and, like, I don't, I'm not going to be one of those people. And she was handling like a champ. Like, she wasn't going, Ugh. So I would just see her like. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> she's, she's really good at breathing, man. <laughs> the nurse come in and she goes, I'm going to check to see if you're dilated. So she checked Glory. Glory was like three centimeters dilated. So at this point, we're around 2.30. So then the nurse comes back and the nurse says, all right guys, so you're gonna stay the night tonight and um, we'll see from there. So we're like, oh wow, this is exciting. So we asked the nurse, we're like, oh, since we're staying the night, when is the baby coming? New date's the 22nd. She said, oh, before the sun sets, you'll be here. So get your rest in mm -hmm. and then just be prepared for the baby. So we're like, oh. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna take a nap, and we're gonna get ready. So we we are already prepared our mind to bring the baby in after we didn't take a rest. I watched the Ravens game after we didn't ate a lunch, laughed and giggled and all of that stuff. So they take us into the delivery room. Yeah, but, and it was really big and nice. I was I was excited about that. And like the couch that he got to lay on wasn't that bad, right? No, nah, I, I had myself a little blanket. I had took the time and put my pillow down, puffing it up, make sure it was <laughs> good. But then that's when your contractions started getting a little worse. They definitely got worse. Like I was not able to like stand still. Like so I was in the bed at that point and I was like so remember I said she was three centimeters dilated. An hour later, she was five centimeters dilated. So she, she was dilating pretty quick. So she came in, she was like, oh wow, you're five centimeters dilated. Wow, you're doing great. So Glory's contractions was getting stronger. So we're like, oh wow. So like baby ain't coming till that night. So we're going to get a good rest sleep. If you want an epidural, you have to request it beforehand because it takes a full hour for the whole process. So I was like, okay, I do want the epidural. I'm going to get it. So like, I think that's when they started the IV fluids and everything. I was out. I know. I was, I was actually really annoyed when you were like sleeping. Because I was like, I'm in pain. I was so annoyed. <laughs> I, I can't heal you. I'm not Jesus. Anyways, so I had the IV fluids in me and some time had passed, but I was like, yo, like I need the epidural. So like I called and I was like, hey, hey, um, I just want to know if I was going to get my epidural soon or whatever. I don't know. They're like, okay, we'll send a nurse in. And then like five minutes later, these two like women walk in. She's like, all right, we're going to wait, break your water. Like it was so fast. I was like, wait, what? And she's like, yep, we're going to break your water. She put the gloves on and she was just like moving so fast. And Matt was in the bathroom. And I was like, wait, 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 can you guys like wait until my husband comes out for you to break my water? 
don't know if you remember that. <laughs> well, you were in the bathroom. They're like, okay. So like, then when he came out, she was like, all right, we're gonna do it. And like, I watched it all happen. I was like looking at Glory. What was it like for you to see them break my water? Well, I was looking at you in pain and then I saw them go in. <laughs> and then it just looked like a water park after really? that. It just came out like, <laughs> Did you really see that like that? Yes. All I saw was a bunch of fluid just spur out. And I was like, And then at that point, I no longer had my wife. Nope, I completely was gone. If you ever seen that movie, The Ring, <laughs> that is who I was with until she got that epidural. God, let me, let me tell you. If you're gonna get an epidural, make sure you get it before, if you have the option, before they break your water. Remember I said early in the video, Glory did not know what a contraction felt like? Well, after they broke that water, <laughs> she regretted not knowing what them joints felt like. I was scared for my life. It started off with just the regular like, uh, uh, it hurts, uh. <laughs> I, it's not too much I can do. All I could do was go, baby, it's okay. You got this, you're doing great. And it went from, uh, to, uh, and I'm like, oh I my gosh. I was trying gosh. so hard not to make noises and stuff, but like, it was literally impossible. After it went from the, uh, her body just went into it. I could not, like, I literally felt like fidgety, like. I was looking at the monitor to see when her next reaction was, and then I noticed that the peak was getting higher and higher, and the next peak, it went a little higher, and at this point, her legs and bodies was <laughs> flailing, and once it went up, she's like, <laughs> we had, so no, I was not, I promise you. I remember I had a beverage on the little table where the patient could eat on, and I had the camera that we're filming on right now on there. She lifted her legs up. <laughs> she was like, uh, 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 I was screaming like that. Yeah. I was Are you serious, screaming right? like, Aah! yes, you were. I remember being so afraid. I grabbed, I didn't grab my wife, but I grabbed the camera and my beverage. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and I put them on there and I went and I was like, Lord, you got this. Like, oh you're my God. like you're I couldn't okay. hear him. Like that didn't make a difference. And like I was like slap. I do remember like slapping the table, like hitting it. Glory don't <laughs> use profanity, but she <laughs> she tapped into some old dictionary words that night, man. I just remember her looking at me like, <laughs> you know when you really afraid that you don't care who's around, you just start actively calling out for Jesus for help. Cause I felt helpless that I couldn't help Glory. So I started praying out loud like, Lord Jesus. I was praying. Yes. I wasn't cussing. I was literally asking Jesus to come save me because I had never felt such pain. The level of pain was beyond 10 out of 10. I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating. Like, And like, let me tell you why it was so painful. I I told Matt, I was like, Matt, it's coming. I, I have to push, I have to push. And you were like, oh, like, I remember you kind of freaked out. I was like, I'm pushing right now. <laughs> yes, this is, this is <laughs> five in the morning. I ain't even get a chance to sleep, nothing. <laughs> I was like, I'm pushing. <laughs> Yeah, she would, they would tell, she was like, Maddie, I have, no, you, you making it sound way more chill than what you were. At this point, her hair was over her face, so I couldn't even see her facial features, and she was looking at me like, Maddie, I have to push right now. Oh. I was like looking for the little call speaker thing, oh, yeah, yeah, and called. I was like, please, somebody come here, she's getting ready to push. So then they came in, and they were telling Gloria, it's like, hey, don't push yet, because you're gonna rip your cervix, and oh. you don't wanna do that. And Gloria's like, I can't do <laughs> that right now. Honey, why are you selling that? Yes, you did. And they were looking at the bag, and they were like, this bag has to be empty. And that bag was halfway. And I'm oh, wait, like, really? The bag was halfway. And yeah, like, like, I was waiting for my epidural. Like, I just wanted the epidural so bad. Like, oh my gosh. The feeling of when you're about to get a contraction, I felt the urge to push. Like, my body was telling me to push. So when the nurses were saying, don't push, like, breathe, breathe. Like, I was so annoyed when I heard them say breathe. I literally felt like I had to push and the fact that I couldn't is what hurt 
so bad. It was so painful. All I could do at that moment was just hold Glory's hand. And I, I'm gonna be honest, like I felt defeated. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I felt like I wasn't doing a great job, even though there was nothing I could do in that situation. Like I felt like I, I wasn't lifting her up and like making it like, oh, you got this girl, go. All I could do at that moment was just hold her hand just to let her know I was with her. And when I held her hand, <laughs> this woman had the nerve to try to bite my fingers off, No, man. I wanted to, but I didn't. I literally was like. <sighs> she was this close. I was looking at her. I was really it. close, but I didn't. And I have, I have some skinny fingers. I have skinny, long fingers. So you ever have somebody that just grab your hand and just like rotate your knuckles? I don't know who this woman I was in there with, but it wasn't my wife. I felt like she got 10 times stronger and 10 times scarier. She grabbed my hands and she was curling my knuckles and then she was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I was so afraid. Like, I just wanted to bite his fingers off so bad. I was quiet the whole time. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. I, I even think I stopped breathing at one point because I was like, man, if Glory hears me breathe, yo, I feel like she's going to slap him. Yeah. No, but honestly, how you gonna be that no, chill? No, 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 no. Slap him in and no, go. I'm gonna say something nice. You were actually really good. Like, I have no complaints about how Matt was. He wasn't overbearing, he wasn't annoying. He was just like encouraging me and he only said what the nurses said. Like, he just repeated what they said. Cause I feel like if he said anything else, like he would have, I don't know, I feel like you would have been in the wrong. So like, he's only saying like, don't push and like breathe. I will say like watching Glory go through those contractions and the amount of strength, like, I was looking at my wife through new lens. Like I was watching her transition into motherhood. And I, I just say transition into like a monster. <laughs> oh yeah. No, but like while you were the ring woman, like I was watching you like turn into like the mom. Like at that Aww. point you was just my wife, but now like mother my child. Yeah. So like just watching like that strength, it was like a different layer of love that I didn't know that I had. Oh honey, that's so sweet. Are you crying? No. Oh. Trying to get some tears for the views. But I was like watching all that happen and I was like, I don't wanna say in love, but I was like, I was really like in love and I was like really loving my wife and like- Even when I was like literally about to bite your fingers off? <clears throat> I mean, at that moment, moment, like I wasn't thinking that. I was scared, but I was just like, wow, like this is so beautiful and amazing. Aww. I was saying that in my head. I would never tell you that while you're going. I know. No. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Glory's epidural came in. Uh, legally. He had yeah, to he's read. like, legally, I got to read you all of this stuff before I give you the epidural. And I'm looking at the chart go up and, and Glory's like, Gah! He's on the side like, okay, so just to let you know the epidural is da, 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 da. And on the other side, Glory's going <laughs> And he, I think at one point he asked, is that, oh, is that good? Like, do you hear? I was just, I didn't say anything. I was just so pissed. I was like, just give me this. Yeah, Freaking he was like, off. okay, now that I read everything, um, does everything sound clear? Everything is good? No! <laughs> And I'm just like, bro, like, get this girl her shot already. <laughs> he's in the back and he's just preparing for it. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, Jesus is finally going in but, there. But, 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 I was like, what happens if he puts it in and I'm having a contraction? They were like, just t let us know when you're about to have one so that he can like pause and stop and not do it yet. And I was like, okay, cause like those contractions, I could not stand still at all. Oh, so like when he was like getting ready, I was like, wait, 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 I'm, having, I'm about to have one, I'm about to have one, like, you know, like yeah, I Yeah, they told her to stand still. So I knew, I literally like, I couldn't. So I kept waiting, like, wait, wait, I'm about to have one. So during all of this, Gloria's like angry. And then finally that guy puts the needle in and then it was like an instance, <laughs> the moment the needle went into her spine, she just snapped out of it. She was like, Rrr. and then I just watched her body jolt like this. <laughs> And then she puts her head up with her hair over her face. And she's like, oh, that felt good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, they just put a needle in your spine. <gasps> Literally though, like I got a lot of questions on my Instagram. Like, did the epidural shot hurt? And I was like, I know that some women say that it really hurts. And in my experience, that epidural did not hurt a bit. In fact, it felt good. Because it was like a relieving, like, pinching feeling pain. <laughs> and then I got my wife back. It worked so fast. Like within five minutes, I would say it started working. She was good. And her voice went from <laughs> Hi, Matt. I'm like, oh, Gloria, you're back. Oh my God, I thought you were gone. 
So after Glory got her epidural, we're like, yo, we are about to go to sleep. But right before we went to sleep, we got new nurses that came in to introduce themselves and they were like, oh, while we're here, we might as well check to see if you're dilated. So they went in to check to see how dilated she was and they were like, oh. <laughs> they didn't talk like that, but okay. Uh, you're fully dilated. It's time to start pushing soon. We were like, what? <laughs> you, the baby's coming out. I thought he was coming at night. Yeah, we thought he was coming like right before like the sunset, which were, was which is what we were told. And what happens next is crazy, but you gotta wait till the next video to figure out what happened next because this <laughs> video is already long. So can't wait to see you guys next week to finish this story of the labor and delivery from Slice and Rice. And as always, I got the slice. I got the rice. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, this is a long story. I know. That's, oh, oh, Jared Kais is up. No. <laughs>